Hello, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> YouTube, what's going on? And I'm a, I'm up for a little uh, I'm a little lost for words here, guys. Man, there's some baller videos out there today. You guys are throwing up the ballers. <clears throat> Excuse me. And what I mean by that is you're tossing up the good ones today, guys. I've been looking through these, trying to look through these videos, staying outside, looking at videos. I want to make my own video. I'm like going ballistic over here. But anyway, first up, uh, this is going to be broken up into some videos. So we're going to talk about Blade Show. I finally got my head wrapped around Blade Show and what I think of it and from what I saw on camera. So it might not be very, very accurate, but I'm just, you know, I followed along and from what I seen, I... I got a I got a pretty good grasp on on what's going on. Secondly, Thrifty Kenefi. Funny story last night. Go back and watch Thrifty's video, please. I encourage you. <clears throat> he did a beautiful video on the single bladed copperhead. Um with the uh, great, that little uh, beautiful inlay. Um, he did a video on that yesterday and stating that there were some in stock. It gets better. I thought after he did that video, every Dick, Tom, and Harry were going to dance over to YouTube and it was just going to sell out in seconds because it, it works that way. So I dance over to uh, eBay. I didn't even check all, look anything down, all that other stuff, making all for all that. I hit add to the cart, $20. It was $20. Me, like a dummy, I spent 20 bucks for the knife. Thrifty Kniffy put an offer in at $12. It was immediately accepted. And I thought to myself, I was like, Man, I was like, let me try and do that, and I'll put an offer in, all this other stuff. I got into an argument with the wife, okay? Now follow this. Everything after that went to poo-poo. Went to complete poo-poo. That was it. Now, not knowing, or if I was a smart individual, I would have taken my time. I would have put in the offer of $12, like he said, a piece, and I would have grabbed three of them right then and there, and I would have been having three come to me. I am still kicking myself right now as we speak. I'm so mad. I'm just aggravated because I rushed it because I thought, that they were going to be gone because I've seen them so many times before and they don't come up. Whoever was hoarding them or whoever had that many of them, somebody just needed the money and was just selling their, their, um, their collection off or whatever they had going on there. But that's how it went. I think, I think something like that. I really do. So, Thank you to Thrifty Kniffy for giving me the heads up on that. I couldn't believe when he said that they were still available. I thought he was joking because they don't come up. They, they're not available. They do not come up. I stress, they don't come up. And I went over there and I was like, what? Whatever was left, 14, 21 at the time remaining, they were left. I was like, oh my God. No way, this has got to be, this has got to be a joke, this has got to be a joke. No, it was not a joke. Uh, let's talk about Freedom Frog. My man Freedom Frog gave me just the kindest shout out the other day, I think it was yesterday. 
He just shouted me out, and I do not get shout outs on my channel. I do not get, I don't want to say appreciated. <laughs> um, I just don't get that kind of recognition, okay, so to speak. Frog, I appreciate you, buddy, and I thank you so much. You can't, you don't know what that means to me for that shout out. It goes a long way. Not for me, probably with everyone. It makes you feel good. It gives you a boost. It makes you feel, it just gives you that little, that little pep in the step, right? So I thank you much for that, Freedom. I was a nice little shout out. I was not expecting it. Um, and I appreciate it. I really do. So, everybody shoot over to Freedom Frog. Give him a subscribe, man. He's always doing content. He's always shouting people out. He cares about other people. He doesn't just care about them. He's, believe me, give him a follow, please. Okay? Subscribe to his channel. I'm trying to keep up with these videos. Slick Slicer, Eric, if you get a chance, quickly, dance over to Eric's channel. I just got done watching his video on his Taylor Eyewitness Barlow's. Oh, my God. <laughs> I don't know what to say. That's why I'm saying, if you want to see a fantastic baller video, baller. I mean, that means top-notch, okay? Baller video. Go over and look at the video he just put up on his Tyler, his Tyler, Tyler, Ta Taylor, I witness Barlow's. That took a minute, didn't it, guys? Fantastic collection there. Check that out. Slick Slicers. Um, and... We're going to move on to this video here because I'm getting late into it. I've been stressing to you guys all along about these case sow bellies, okay? These sow bellies are the most fantastic pieces that you are going to put in your hands. I'm telling you. Um, the newest one out is this micarta. Oh my God, this canvas micarta, black and green, uh, sow belly. And I'm going to highly, highly, I'm not going to highly recommend it. I'm just going to say, save your money, get it. It's coming in at $80. Yes, it's a little bit of money. Skip out on one or two or three budget pieces. Get this knife. Get this knife. Now. I am not an affiliate affiliate with Case Knives, which you know. I got a little Incy Bincy channel. Case Knives is not watching my channel. Uh, nor is a lot of people. The only thing I'm trying to do, I am trying to do, is when a piece like this comes across, I'm trying to put the good knives into your hands. That's all I care about. That's all I'm doing. You can take my advice. You don't have to take my advice. Anything you want to do, do. But I'm going to put it out there, and I'm going to tell you how I feel. I've got 25 years in this hobby, and it is what it is. Period. It is what it is. You guys don't have to listen to me. You just don't have to take my criticism, my, my opinion, nothing. That's fine. That's fine. But I'm going to put that video out there, and that's it. These sow bellies, guys, are some of the fan most fantastic pieces you are going to want to handle. Okay? Let's look at this canvas micarta, how they did this micarta. It is just plain out stupid stunning. Okay? It is stunning. Absolute stunning. That's what I could say there. Okay? Now, yes, you are spending a good chunk of money on these knives. These are heirloom pieces, ladies and gentlemen. These are not $14, $15, $20 junk knives. Not junk knives. Just 
your everyday run-of-the-mill knives. You are getting into the top-tier cutlery. This is top-tier. Um, I mean, it's not only... It's not only the micarta. It's the sow belly pattern itself that Case is doing. Okay? They are phenomenal. Phenomenal. All these. I showed all these back here. You've got the chrome vanadium piece. This is chrome vanadium. The white one's chrome vanadium. This is just one from eBay that I snatched up. Um, and I only got three. Now this makes four. But my Lord have mercy, they are so good. They are so good. Some of the best pieces I got, I've handled. I've, I mean, I've handled a lot of, lot of knives, guys. And these are fantastic, man. I just want you to see this micarta, how they're doing this micarta. I want you to see the fit and finish. I want you to get it all in. Save your money. Get one of these. I'm going to put put around the camera and show you what they look like open. The blades. If you say you can't afford it, I accept that. Just skip a couple of budget knives. Save your money. And you will appreciate these kind of... These pieces. So... I just want to give you guys a look at what we're looking at here. There's all three blades opened up, guys. I mean, it is a knockout beautiful piece. It's a beautiful piece, guys. I mean, it exceeded what I thought it would be, okay? Look how stout all these blades are. Look at that clip blade, okay? Look how they do this spay. How they wedge that spay. That whole spay right here has got a wedge all the way down it. <clears throat> I mean, you're talking... Guys, I mean, if you're looking for a serious EDC knife, it don't even have to be an EDC knife. If you're just looking for something to throw in a nice leather slip, I mean, a good, good piece to throw in your pocket... I mean, how are you going to miss with this one? You can't miss. You can't miss. It's a fantastic piece, man. It's, it's, it's greatness. It's greatness. I don't collect all case knives. Nah, nah. I'm very selective. I'm very, very selective. But I wanted to give you guys a look at this. I wanted to give you guys a look at this micarta. Look at this micarta. Now, have you ever seen micarta like that? Tell me. Look how beautiful it's done. Right? Nice little piece. Nice, nice little piece for the collection. I'm telling you. These are heirloom pieces. No, they're not $3,000 pieces. They don't have to be to make this an heirloom piece. These are pieces that are going to last forever and that are going to get handed down in your family. All of these pieces, they just are. They're going to get handed down. These are pieces you put in loved ones' hands. Not them junk, but I ain't going to get into it. I don't want to say it because I don't want to start no kind of controversy. So I'm going to stop it right there. This is why I do it, man. This is why I collect these knives. This is why I collect traditionals. Okay? Because in my humble opinion, in my humble opinion, these are the best knives you can buy if you're getting in, if you're into the cutlery game, if you're into the hobby, if you're into the hobby, this is where you want to be. You want to be with the traditional knives, ladies and gentlemen. You want to get involved in these traditional knives. I 
I'm guaranteeing it pays off for you in the long run years to come. These knives are the big hitters. These are the big boy knives, ladies and gentlemen. These are the big boy knives. But yet, nobody wants them. Nobody wants them. Not just these case knives. All of them. All the traditionals. It's just not there yet. It's not there yet. It's coming around. It's coming around. It's getting there. Slowly but truly, it's getting there. Man. Anyway, guys, I wanted to give you guys a look at these sow bellies. Any kind of case sow belly. You don't have to be the this canvas micarta one. You guys could get um, this wonderful... Um, this is coming in at like $65. Crown vanadium. You know? And it's just as good. Just as good as this guy right here. Just as good. But they're fantastic pieces, guys. Look at them. They're built like tanks. They're built... I mean, they look cool. Don't they just sit there? Look at them. Look at them. Look how the blades sit in the well. Look how beautiful they sit in that well. Just absolutely stunning. Stunning. I mean, if you can't afford the GEC, you know what I mean? You got to dance around a little bit, guys. You can't just always, you know, hit the GECs, you know? Anyway, guys, that's it. I wanted to show you this micarta. Uh, sal belly green and black look at it and that's just about it guys my man Marshallist go over and give Marshallist the subscribe please ladies and gentlemen I followed him last night he knows what I'm talking about he's probably chuckling right now but that was funny he popped in someone's live last night Marshallist he had me in stitches. He had me laughing my hiney off. Oh, was I ever laughing so hard. Marshallist, if you're hearing this, buddy, <laughs> you're crazy, buddy. You're funny. You're funny as a bed bug. Go over and give Marshallist a, uh, a follow. And uh, yeah, he's got great content over there as well. So subscribe to Marshallist. Guys, that's it for this one. Look at that micarta. We're going to send you home with looking at that micarta, guys. Look at it. Let's send you home with that. Fantastic. Guys, hold on. I almost forgot. Be good, be well, be safe. Come on.